In this video, we will have a look at bus channels and sends in FL Studio. We will look at how to create the channels and also how to automate them and how to use them in your projects. Bus channels are quite useful for collecting a group of sounds into one channel so that you can easily apply effects to all the sounds in the same group. For sends, we can be applying effects on one or more sounds, and then we can easily send the effect of these sends to the master. And we can then also easily automate the effects in your project. For this video, we have added a kick, a clap, and a hi hat, as well as a vocal part. First, when you have your different sounds in the channel rack, you can assign different mixing channels per sound. So I will use number one for the kick, number two for the clap, number three for the hi-hat, and number four for the vocal sample. So basically what you see now is when we play this, you can see that the three first channels are being used by the drums and the vocals I'm trying to figure out how to back are in the fourth mixer insert. It's always good to be organized, so I will apply some different colors to these uh, inserts to make sure that we can keep track of them. So if you hold down the left control button on your keyboard and then you push down the left mouse button on the first insert and you pull it to the right, then you will select all of them. Then we can rename and recolor. For drums, we can use the slate blue and a purple. And then we can add names. So this one is the 808 kick. And since I have selected all three, it will then change the name for all three. But actually the second one is a clap and the third one is the hi-hat. So we will make it correct. 808 clap. Eight to eight hi hats. So now we have a little bit more control over the sounds. And for the fourth one, this is the vocals. We can use a green color and just call it vocal one. And now we will create a bus for the drums. We can set a color. I will use a silver color. And I will call it bus drums. And then you can dock it to the left or to the right whatever you prefer, but for me, I like to have the bus on the left side. And now you can see it's been moved to the very left of the mixer. The next thing we do is we highlight these three drums. Hold down the left control, pull your mouse across the tree. And you can see that now they are going to the master. We don't want that, we want them to go to the drum bus. So you right click on this arrow and you'd select route to this track only. And now you can see that all the three drums are going directly to the drum bus. And then if we play the track, we can see that the drums are only going to the drum bus and then do the master. Then you can easily adjust the volume here. 
You can also add some effects if you would like that. I can add a EQ. And the benefit is of course that you can now change the effects on all the different sounds in this group only on this one channel. And let's say that we want to have a effect in our track where we use the EQ to bring in the drums. Then we can go to the bus for the drums and you can then add we have already added the EQ parameter. We can see what kind of effect do we want. Just for the sake of it, I will also add a cutoff on the lower frequencies. That's just a habit. So this is the effect we want to add. So when we pull this one from left to right, you can see that this knob is being affected. And then you can right click on this one and you can make a automation clip. And you can see this is now inserted into your playlist. Let's say that for the first Four bars we want to gradually go from 21% which is the starting point up to say 80% then you will hear that the effect is being applied to all the drums and it's also important that you change the ending point if you want to keep it at around 80. So that is the drum bus. Uh, usually I also have a bus for the different segments. So you might well have one for vocals, you might have one for instruments. Uh, I see a lot of people have five different buses that they use. And that will also save you a lot of processing power on your computer because you will not have to have the different effects on each channel but instead you can have it on the bus it's not always applicable you might want to have some effects only on one instrument uh, but overall uh, this is a good way to do it the next thing we will do is to have a send so we will make a reverb and one delay send and basically what you do then is that to the instrument of your choice you can then have an easy way of adding reverb uh, from one channel so let's start with the reverb send you can change the name also on this one we can just call it effects reverb so yellow color and I'm going to dock this one on the right side so there you have it so when you're scrolling around in your mixer this will always stay on the right and your bus will always stay on the left and we can add a reverb Let's have a large hole, for example. Set the wet to 100%. So this is basically how many percent 
of the wet signal is going to be sent from this one to the master and the dry signal this is like the original signal we put down to zero simply because if you have it at maximum you're then sending the full signal from for example your vocals to the send and then to the master and you're also sending the signal at the same time directly to the master so you will get it twice so let's add this one to the reverb and let's see what happens i'm trying to figure out how to bounce i'm trying to figure out how to bounce now here we have a lot of reverb and move this one down i'm trying to figure out how to bounce 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 and just for fun let's not change the dry signal we have it like this you will hear that the sound is much higher i'm trying to figure out how to bounce and this is because it sends the original vocals twice into the master so make sure you have the drive down to zero so that only the reverb effect is being sent from the send channel to the master for this one we can also make a automation we can then make it on this one i'm trying to figure out how to bounce i'm trying then you just right click on the fader create automation clip and we have this one just make some different settings just right click and then we can play the track just to see how it sounds I'm trying to figure out how to bounce. 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 And then we can make another send for delay. We'll use the same color. And we dock it to the right. I already have another channel docked to the right. So let's move that one to the middle. So when you dock to the middle, it will just be in the middle part of the screen. Dock to the left, you will have it on this side. And dock to the right, you will have it on this right side. And then we will add some delay effects. And also for this one, we will have the, the wet signal at 100 and the dry signal down to zero. And we will send the vocal also to this channel. So when we select the vocal, you can see that it goes to the master channel, it goes to the reverb and also to the delay. If we put these down, I'm trying to figure out how to bounce. I'm trying to figure out how to bounce. You can see that the automation on the reverb is going up and down, just like in the automation file. And then the delay. I'm trying to figure out how to bounce. 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 And of course, you can make an automation for this one as well. Just right click, create automation clip, go into your playlist. Now we have the automation. Let's say that we only want to have uh, some delay here.
I'm trying to figure out how to bounce. 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 And we can also change the automation on the reverb that we just want to build it gradually up to this point and then we'll let it drop and stay down. We can also easily delete the different reference points. And then we will see how the reverb and the delay effect and also the bus drum automation sounds in the track. I'm trying to figure out how to bounce. 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 I had a bounce. I'm trying to figure out how to bounce. I'm trying to figure out how to bounce. I'm trying to figure out how to bounce. So that's just a simple way to use sense and also buses in FL Studio. In upcoming videos, we will look into how to save your channel settings, how to make templates for your different projects. And if there are other things you would like to see some tutorials on, then please leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe and like. And if you have any questions, then just, you know, reach out in the comments section. Thank you for checking out the video. I hope you will have an amazing day and see you in the next one.